All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to move on to part two of our chef d'oeuvre and move this beat that we have created over to the Beat Buddy pedal so that we can play it. The first thing you're going to do is you have to create a folder to uh, store the files. I'm assuming you have already downloaded the Beat Buddy Manager software from the Beat Buddy website or Singular Sound. And when you do, it will create a folder and it's called Beat Buddy Manager, Beat Buddy Workspace. You'll see this uh, workspace here. And it will have a couple of libraries. It'll have a default library and a user library. You can create your own or use the ones that are pre existing. To keep things clear and simple for us, I'm going to create a new library just so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to call this a Beat Buddy Library. Uh, we're going to have a projects folder and a songs folder. Right now, we want to create a song folder and I'm going to create a new file or a folder, sorry. And we're going to call this folder, um, I don't know, uh, the name of the song. Let's call it Thor just for fun because Thor is cool. Okay. And that's where we're going to keep the MIDI files here. And we're going to create a project in a minute. So just uh, hang on to that and we'll come back to it. Let's go back to our sequencer. We've got our beat. It's uh, all set up. Everything's great. We're musical geniuses, etc., etc. Let's hear it. Excellent. All sounds good. So now what we want to do is export this loop that we have created over to the folder that we are storing it in. So we're going to go to File. We're going to find the Export uh, section. It's going to give us a range of export options. Right now, we're going to use select, uh, Selection as MIDI File, which means export the selection as a MIDI file. And we want to keep it as a MIDI file, not an audio file. So let's click that. It's going to open a window. We're going to find our folder, which is in our library under songs. The song is called Thor. Now we want to identify this as a part of the song. So that could be chorus, verse, transition, fill, something like that. For this, uh, because this is the main beat that we're of the song, we're going to give it a name like Thor, and then we'll just call it main. We can call it verse if we like and then we'll save that. So let's see what that looks like. If we go back to our folder, here's our MIDI file, Thor main dot mid, and then you see that dot mid, then you know it's a MIDI file, okay? So we're all set up. We're ready to move this MIDI file into the Beat Buddy Manager. So let's open the Beat Buddy Manager. Okay, uh, we've got nothing open at the moment. So if you haven't done this already, um, if you're starting from the beginning, you have to create a new project to save this under. So we'll go to File, New Project, and we have to give the project a name. The project is not the song. The project is the collection of songs. So whatever you would like to uh, use to identify the group of songs that you're going to uh, collate. So let's call this Originals because we are working on maybe an original group of songs. And we're going to save it in the Projects folder. And this is going to create a special Beat Buddy project file, which you will see the identifier down here. And so when we hit Save, so it will open a new project for us. You can see it's all set up. We can uh, name this folder. Uh, the project will be divided into folders. You can open as many folders in a project as you like. Uh, we'll call this Originals, just to keep things consistent. And then we can create a new song. So we're going to hit plus song here. And that's going to open up this uh, graphic with the chart. The chart is identifying the different parts of the song. So we can give the song a name, and that name is what you are going to read from the Beat Buddy screen, so make sure it's clear to you. Make sure you set the tempo correctly. We had it set at the default of 120, but of course you can go up and down with that. Now we have to deal with drum sets. Now remember, the drum set we used in our sequencer 
is not the same sounding drum set we're going to use in the Beat Buddy because the Beat Buddy has its own drum kits and its own drum sounds. So in order to do that, uh, when you hit this drop down, you'll notice there are no drum sets. You have to import them into the project. And the way to do that is to go here to drum sets. Okay. And you'll notice there's a range of drum sets, whatever you have downloaded from Singular Sound or whatever came as a default. And if you just highlight them, it will import the drum kits for you. Okay. And we'll just go back to the song list. And now we can choose the drums we want to use for this song. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with the John Bonham one just because it might sound good. So we've got our basic um, settings, and now we're going to open up the MIDI file into the part of the song that it corresponds to. You will notice there is a part for an intro fill, and the intro will be played when you first tap the Beat Buddy pedal uh, to initiate the song. After it plays the intro loop, it goes directly to the main beat. Okay, so this is what we are bringing into the project right now. So let's click here on the white square, and it's going to open up a folder, or uh, sorry, a finder window, and we can just choose the MIDI file that we created, Thor main dot mid. We're just going to hit open, and there it is. We have su successfully uh, brought our created drum beat into the Beat Buddy Manager, and it's ready to listen. And to check it, you can just uh, click this icon here. Okay, and it will just play the loop once for you. Okay, now uh, the John Bonham kit sounds nice, but if you want to check out some of the other sounds, we can go to the standard Pro kit. And you'll notice, of course, they sound very different, just like any other different drum kit. Uh, we'll listen to the rock kit just for fun. All right, I kind of like the John Bonham kit because, hey, who doesn't like John Bonham, right? Excellent. Okay, uh, another thing you can do here is to use the simulator up here, and this is to simulate you actually playing it through the Beat Buddy, and it will play the loops as the Beat Buddy pedal itself would. So you can just click that, oh, save it. Okay, and you'll notice that doesn't stop, it keeps going through. All right, so that's as far as I'm gonna take you today. We're going to look at how to repop or populate the rest of this song and look at some of the variety of things you can do in terms of fills and transitions and other parts of the song. But right now, we just want to get it as far as uh, exported onto our SD card and put into the Beat Buddy pedal and just to make sure that you understand how all of that works. So uh, you put an SD card into your computer and it will... Uh, be ready for you to export the project onto it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go to File in the Beat Buddy Manager, down to Export, and you'll notice you can export a song, you can export a folder, or you can export the whole project to an SD card. So we're going to click that. Oh, it's going to ask you to save it. All right, and you'll notice up here, it's copying all of the files for you. And when that's done, you can look at the folders on the SD card itself. Okay, so that may have taken a minute or two uh, because it is a new project and we are putting it onto the SD card for the first time. We can dedicate that SD card to this project and that will speed things up for future exports. All right, let's go take a look at our project. Here's our SD card. And these are the project files that are saved onto the disk. 
now we are ready to take out this disk uh, from the computer, put it into the Beat Buddy, and check to see that everything is in order. So let's do that. When I take the SD card out of the computer and I put it into the Beat Buddy, you will notice that the project comes up. The folder name is there. It says Originals. You can see the tempo, the name of the song. When I hit the pedal, the song will activate and it's working successfully. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have successfully created your first beat and you have exported it onto your Beat Buddy pedal and it is ready to play. Now you're ready to move forward, uh, learning some new skills and spending some time learning how to develop more nuanced beats, creating intros, creating fills and extras, and all of that great stuff. And those are things we're going to be looking at in future videos. So subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below and I will get back to you. In the meantime, keep playing and stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>